Hey guys, welcome back to part 4 of my creating your own Rust plugins tutorial series. Uh, this part's going to be a little bit shorter. It's on creating chat commands. So for example, if you type uh, slash something in the chat, it will perform a command. If you say slash kills, it will tell you your kills, or slash health, and it'll display your health for whatever reason you might want that. Just, just as an example. Those are slightly impractical, but I'll just show you how it works. So to get started, uh, we're going to want to define our chat command name, which is going to be done like this. So you're going to put these little square brackets and type chat command, circle brackets, and you're going to want to type the name of the command. So we're just going to say test for this example. So when somebody types slash test into the chat, it will perform the action we're about to create. And to create the action, what you're going to want to do is go a line below your chat command and create a void method, which is done like this. So you're going to say void, name it whatever you want, test command. That's what I'm going to do for this example. And we're going to define a few variables. Uh, so there's three you're, that you can use in here. The first of which is uh, base player, so the player which called the command. So we're going to say base player player. Uh, the second of which is the command itself. So we're going to say string command. And the third is the arguments of the command. So we're going to put a string array of args. Alright, so what this void method does is it's going to pass us the player which called the command. It's going to also pass us the command itself, which is this text right here. And it's also going to pass us the arguments. I'll, uh, I'll explain some more about these arguments after. They're not necessary for many cases. Um, but just to demonstrate, I'm going to print out all of the information which we pass in to the chat command. So, we're going to say here is server.broadcast. I'm going to say the player.display name. And then I'm also going to say Let's duplicate that and say I'm going to print the command, which should be this text right here. And I'm also going to display each of the arguments. So for each string arg for arguments in args, I'm going to say server.broadcast that arg. And that's essentially the basics of it. You can use uh, you can use this method to perform many different things, like basically anything in the server. So, but I'm just going to demonstrate how that works. So once again, when I type slash test into the chat, it will perform this void method. It's going to pass the player that called the method, the command, and also the arguments. So let's load it up. So you're going to say slash test. And as you can see here, it says sloppy bacon. That's the player who called it. It says test. That's the command name. And because I didn't pass any arguments, it didn't print any. But now I'm going to pass in a few arguments. And the way you do that is say slash test. And then you're just going to put a space and put whatever arguments you want. So let's say he he he, and then let's put another one that just says message. Let's say another one. It's just like one. I'll add two, three, four. Just as an example, hit enter. As you can see, it printed my name. It says the chat command, and it says he he message one two three four. So that's essentially deconstructing the message that I typed. All right, so let's let's make this actually do something. I'm just going to create a simple uh, kill function. 
So rather than having to go F1 type kill like this, I'm just going to create a little chat kill command. So we'll get rid of this and just say kill. And I'm just going to name this also kill command just to keep track of what we're working on. And now it's time to write the command. So essentially, this is a one liner. So you could say player dot uh, hurt, and we're just going to pass in a float value. I'm just going to say 100, and let's we'll see if that works. Just going to unload that, copy that, load it back in, and once it's loaded, we're going to say slash kill, and as you can see, voila, kill command works. So this is um, a really short video, uh, but I just wanted to add that in there because it's a really quick and simple thing to do. You can basically, if you wanted to have many commands, you could copy and paste this and just be like, yeah, 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 and then change these and make them whatever you want to do different specific things. They can be really complex, really simple, depending on what you need it for. Like, let's say you wanted to make a lottery system or something like that, you could, you could do that just by creating these chat commands and make it so that people can enter for the lottery and then maybe have a timer which will pick a random person when the time runs out. Whatever you want to do with it. I highly recommend just experimenting a little bit. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, that basically concludes the video. Really short, really sweet. Thanks for watching. I will be covering data files in the next video. And yeah, so I'll see you then.